what's up and welcome to my channel Kaylin's Coupon Corner. Today we're going into Walmart to do our weekend warrior. I bought a haul and guess what? We're doing a $10 food challenge. So I'm thinking about doing this like one to two times a month. Not every week of course, but I will say I bought a just doesn't have much going on for it this week like there's just not much I feel that's my little guy I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm not gonna get that much stuff but I am gonna be getting pork chops which are gonna be like five dollars or something like that um yeah hopefully my store has them and either like pork chops or like a pork loin I think um, and yeah, so also you might have seen other channels talking about cereal clearance. I Hi. checked I checked on Brickseek. My store has no cereal clearance, but there is a lot of other clearance, um, like diaper clearance. Sorry if my little guy's so loud. Um, and yeah, this rain is messing up my hair. It is super rainy out and like dreary and gloomy. Um, yeah, so there's a car pulling up next to me, so let's get into those deals. So the first item I'm picking up is the One by Poise liners. These are priced at $5.46, and I have a $3 insert coupon. If that doesn't scan, I do have a $3 printable coupon, but I'll be left to pay $2.46. But I'm going to submit to Fetch for $5 back when you buy one, making this a $2.54 moneymaker. I'm also going to be picking up another watermelon, which is priced at $3.98 this week. And there is a $0.25 cent any watermelon rebate, which will make this just $3.73. Next, I'm going to get the Always Z period underwear. And I saw this on Couponing Crystal's channel. These are priced at $3.97, and I bought is giving back $3. There's a limit of two, so I'm going to pick up two of these, and I'm going to pay $7.94. I bought is going to give me $3 for each pack, but there's also a $1 bonus when you redeem the offer twice or any Tampax or Always offers, and it doesn't say it has to be from separate shopping trips, so I'll get a $1 bonus for a total of $7 back, making my final cost just $0.94 cents for two packs of these. Pretty excited to go ahead and try these out. Next, I'm going to pick up this Dove deodorant, the travel size, price at $0.97. Cents. I'm actually really excited because I keep these small ones in my car all the time. So I'm going to scan the full size deodorant for 20 scan kicks and then I'm going to get 375 buy kicks. If you multiply that by 0 .004, you'll get $1.58, making this Dove deodorant a 61 cent moneymaker. I'm also going to be buying this single Dove bar soap. It is in the travel section and it is also priced at 97 cents. I'm going to get 20 scan kicks for scanning a full size bar soap and 375 buy kicks. Once again, that is $1.58, making this one a 61 cent moneymaker as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Jammy Sammies, which are priced at $2.78. I bought is going to give me a $1 rebate, making them just $1.78. And my kiddos like these a lot. And also, this store is so busy, so I couldn't really film by the actual place where I got them. And of course, every time I've been coming to Walmart lately, they have all this clearance bakery items. So I decided to go ahead and pick up one of these breads, which are on clearance for 70 cents. And we like to make garlic bread with this. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get two of the Sargento balance breaks that are priced at three at 22 each. I really like these with the banana and cranberries. So I'm going to get two of those, which will total me $6.44. I'm going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each one. And then Fetch is going to give me $2 when I buy two, making my final cost just $2.44. Then I'm going to go ahead and get the Sargento Shredded Cheese, the Creamery, price at $2.70. And I did find a Peely, but I'm going to hold on to this because it's good until the end of the year. 
However, you can submit to the coupons.com app for a dollar, but I have a $1 printable, so I'm going to be left to pay $1.70. Fetch is going to give me $2 when I buy one Sargento cheese product, making this a 30 cent moneymaker. I'm super excited. Then I was looking at the clearance food and I found these cocktail artists on clearance for 81 cents. There was two of them and there's an Ibotta rebate for a dollar back with a limit of two. So both of these together will be a 38 cent moneymaker. I was so excited to find these. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up some tortilla chips that are priced at a dollar oh nine. And I'm just picking these up because I'm getting some salsa later. So next, I'm going to pick up this Royal Rice. Now, there are separate rebates for all the varieties that they have. And the Chicken and Herb and the Spicy Korean have $1.50 back. However, I personally don't like those ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get the White Basmati Rice. It's priced at $1.88. I bought is going to give me $1 back, making our final cost just $0.88. Cents. And then I'm going to pick up the Magi bouillon cubes i hope i'm pronouncing the brand name right but these are priced at a dollar 38 i bought is going to give me 75 cents back making it just 63 cents and i believe there's 15 cubes in here so that's a pretty good deal now i'm excited to pick up some pork chops the smithfield all natural pork chops i picked up this pack it is priced at 5.28 I bought it is going to give me a dollar, making my final cost $4.28. I think that's a pretty good deal. Also, when I scanned this in the Ibotta app, it didn't pull anything up. But when I went to the actual Smithfield all-natural pork rebate and scanned the barcode, it did qualify. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Peanut Butter & Co. Peanut Butter. It is the white chocolatey type. And it is priced at $3.94. Ibotta has a $1 rebate and Checkout 51 has a $2 rebate, making it just $0.94. Cents, so I'm pretty excited to pick that up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get the M&M Mix. This was up by the Checkout. It is priced at $1.48. Shopkick is going to give me 500 kicks, which is $2, making this a $0.52 cent moneymaker. I'm also going to go ahead and pick up one box of the Clairol hair dye, priced at $6.92. I have a $3 paper coupon, so I'll pay $3.92, but Ibotta has two rebates that are attaching, a $2 rebate and a $3 rebate for a total of $5 back, and if you don't want to submit for both those rebates, you definitely don't have to, just unclip one of the ones that you don't want, but this will make this a 108 moneymaker for me. Next, I'm going to pick up the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Travel Size, priced at $1.47. Shopkick is going to give me $2.40, making this a $0.93 cent moneymaker. And the last item I'm getting at Walmart is the Fannie Mae S'mores, up by the checkout as well. It is priced at $1.98. I bought it's going to give me $1, making this just $0.98. Cents. Now we're going to be going to Kroger, and I'm going to be picking up this bread priced at $1.39, and I'm going to be picking up two of the salsas, which are priced at $1.99 each, for a total of $3.98. I'm going to get $0.50 cents for my Bada for buying two, and then Kroger Cash Back is going to give me $0.50 cents for buying two. Then I'm going to pick up the Hillshire Farm, and there's a digital coupon that will make this $1.99. And I'm also going to get the Cheez-It Snap, priced at $1.99 as well. So that completes our bundle of the bread, the lunch meat, and the Cheez-It Snapped. All of these items will total me $5.87. I'm going to get $5 back from the Kellogg's Family Rewards website. This rebate is a limit of two, so this will be my second time doing the rebate which will make all three products just $5 or just 29 cents each. Next, I'm gonna get this Brave Robot ice cream and thank you to Ohio Valley Couponer for telling us about this deal. I'm gonna pick up two prices at $4.99 each, so two of them will total me $9.98. However, I found this coupon, it printed out for me a few days ago when I went to Kroger. 
So it's going to make one of them free. So I'll only pay $4.99 for both. But then the Brave Robot website has a rebate for one back, which will give me $4.99 back, making both of them free. But it gets better because Ibotta has $2 rebates. So I'll get $2 for each one, making both of these ice creams a $4 moneymaker. So I'm super excited to pick these up. And let's go to the kitchen table and see how we did. All right, here is everything that I got. Now, I will say, I feel like I didn't get a ton of stuff. And I know I was doing a $10 food challenge and I got these always. They were not free, but I really wanted them before the rebate went away because that was a really good rebate and I want to try those out. So, I mean, I did get some good stuff because this is all stuff that we will use. I really like those. Uh, pork chops, we eat them all the time. Garlic bread, well, bread, but we're going to make it into garlic bread. I feel like we did pretty good. Okay, so let me talk about Kroger real quick because I know I mentioned this. I got to the store and I was kind of in a rush because I was trying to hurry up. So when I was at Kroger, I was trying to get back home in time for the meeting that we had. And I was there and I was looking at my list and I realized I don't have enough items for the Mega. I was going to get like two of the cheese that snapped and like some other stuff. And I realized I didn't have enough and I kind of just, I didn't really feel like winging it. Really, I just wasn't prepared, which, you know, I, as a couponer, you kind of need to be prepared for like what you're going to get and everything. I wasn't prepared, I was too much in a rush, and I had to pay a little bit extra, but the way I see it is that I would have paid more just to get a sale price, so I just stuck with this. Also, the Brave Robot uh, rebate on their website, it went through like within minutes, like it was so quick. Okay, so all of this retailed for $78.81. I paid $66.82 after coupons, and I know I say this every time, but I use my PayPal debit card, so I just roll my rebate money, my Ibotta money. It's awesome. So what I got back was $25.50 from Ibotta. Shopkick gave me $7.56. Kroger Cashback gave me $0.50. I got $9.08 from Fetch, and the eight cents is just like bonus points for buying like the Always and the Poise. I got the $4.99 from the Brave Robot website, $5 from the Kellogg's Family Reward, and $2.50 from, or wow, I don't know where I got the 50 cents, $2 from Checkout 51 for the peanut butter. So, let me talk about the Kellogg's Family Rewards rebate real quick. What you're wanna, gonna wanna do, cause I know it's kinda confusing, once you get the email that says your receipt has been approved, you're gonna wanna click on the link from that email. Log in to the page it takes you to. And when you log in, at the very top of the website, it'll say like your name. So it'll say, Caitlin, you have one rebate to claim or something like that. And then it'll say like, click here or send the money to PayPal or something. There's like a little link up at the top after it says, Caitlin, you have one rebate. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna choose how you want it. You can get it in the mail or you can have it deposited into your PayPal. I did the PayPal. So then I just went through and had me enter in my PayPal information. And I think it took like a day or two to transfer into my PayPal. All right, anyway, let's talk about how much money we got back. All of those rebates totaled $54.63 back. However, I got the $1 bonus for buying two Always products, and I also got the $3 Weekend Warrior. So that brings my total to $58.63 back, and I paid $66.82 bringing our total down to $8.19. I didn't realize I was gonna be under because I think I was gonna grab another item, but I ended up not grabbing it or something. It was insane 
in Walmart. Like it was so crazy busy. I never want to go to Walmart that late ever again. It was so busy. I was rushing around and my son was being a little bit fussy. So it, I was just like trying to get out of there. But if I would have realized, I would have gotten the Butterball Turkey Bacon because I really like the Butterball Turkey Bacon. It's like one of my favorites. It is priced at $2.34. I'm gonna pop up a picture right here. So I would have gotten that priced at $2.34. I would have gotten 60 cents from my Ibotta making it just $1.74. And that would complete my haul and make my haul $9.93. So if you do all of these rebates, just like I did, you could add an item that was about $2 and meet that $10 challenge. So I think we did pretty good. I did get a lot of stuff that my family will use. Yeah, I hope I helped you guys find some good food rebates. I know the haul isn't like huge this week, but you know, there's just not a ton of stuff on Ibotta. Ooh, but there is that new rebate that popped up. I got $10 on like 32 or something like that. I can't remember. I'm excited about that. I'm probably gonna do a few hauls within the next couple weeks. So I'm excited. I love these big bonuses. Let me know what you guys got. And I hope I helped you find some deals to get from Walmart and Kroger. I'm really excited to get that Pace um, salsa. It's my husband's favorite, the only salsa he will eat. And we're almost out. <laughs> so it's always good to get that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.